In this demonstration, you'll learn how Blade Modeler can be used to extract the blade geometry from a CAD model for later use. I'll be showing you how to extract the required sketches, how to create a flow path feature and a CAD import feature, and how to write a file that can be used to recreate the blade geometry. Presented here is the CAD model for a centrifugal compressor. I want to extract the design intent of the blades so that I can easily change the blade shape. In other words, I want to extract the camber line and thickness distribution for the impeller blades. This can be done using the CAD import feature. I'll need to create sketches of the hub, shroud, inlet, and outlet for the flow path feature. I'll start by rotating the flow path around the z-axis using the Revolve tool. Next, I'll slice the resulting body along the z-x plane using the Slice tool. And hide one of the halves so I can see the cross-section I've made. These sketches need to be on the positive X region of the ZX plane, so I'll use this side of the body I created. To create sketch projections, I'll need a new plane based on the ZX plane. Right-clicking the plane, I can select Insert, Sketch Projection, and select the corresponding edges to create a sketch projection. Each sketch must be generated individually. Here I am creating the sketch for the hub. Here is the model after all sketch projections have been made. Now I have the required sketches to create a flow path. I can select the machine type for later post-processing, and set the contours for the hub, shroud, inlet, and outlet. Once the flow path has been specified, I will click Generate. Now I have what I need to create a CAD import feature. I'll select the flow path I just created, and I'll also need to specify blade surfaces as shown. In the CAD import feature, I can specify a number of details about the blade geometry, including number of blade sets, the details of the leading and trailing edges, and camber line simplification details. After specifying the CAD import feature, I will click Generate. In the auxiliary view, I can compare the generated geometry, indicated by the blue dots, with the original geometry, indicated by the grey dots. I find the result acceptable, so I can now export a file for recreating the geometry elsewhere. In a new Design Modeler window, I'll import the geometry by running the previously made file. I can now make small edits to the blade geometry by clicking on the newly created blade feature in the tree outline, adjusting points for the angles and thickness, and clicking Generate. This concludes this demonstration on how Blade Modeler can be used to extract the blade geometry from a CAD model.